Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? What messages do you have for Scorpio, please? All right, let's see Scorpio, what we have for you. Starting off with judgment, wow, okay, starting off strong. <laughs> On your energies that have temperance reverse i kept seeing tempers or um while i was shuffling and the nine of cups interesting sagittarius energy with the temperance card let's see what's going on right now the moon with the page of pentacles reversed interesting pisces energy with the moon something hidden um unknown secrets mystery but then I have the Page of Pentacles reversed. So it's like there's an illusion about um, the fact that an offer isn't coming in. Perhaps an offer hasn't arrived yet because it's delayed and maybe you don't know this. That's, we'll see as we keep going. On your person's side, we have the Four of Swords reversed with the Justice card. Okay, Libra energy there. Now oh, Justice, this is um, some sort of final decision um things being balanced and fair to you justice coming in to write things that maybe have been off kilter or just not fair not just the near future we have the two of swords so some sort of decision bottom of the deck i have the knight of swords reverse interesting right after that the three of wands once again I, i'm getting delays like a waiting period here. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for communication, for clarity, um, for like a new beginning here. Some of you are waiting for the truth is what I heard. Like you just want to know the truth about possibly this opportunity. Let's get some more information. Give me some more insight, please, into this connection for Scorpio. What do we need to know? I need to know about this connection. Scorpio, please. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Getting to know each other. Okay, what else? I'm picking up, it's like your person's restless to like make something right here. Okay, we got two. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying each moment or enjoying this moment fully and then keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so this is very new energy all three of these cards i feel like there's some some sort of mag magnet that's attracting someone to you maybe you've caught someone's eye and i don't know maybe you're not seeing this develop or this is going on behind the scenes let's clarify let's get some more energies here get some more insight let me clarify now keep in mind this is a general reading scorpio so it will not resonate with every scorpio watching if this does not resonate at all check out my playlist on scorpio i have a lot of videos there that might resonate more with you but if it does resonate then let me know i'd love to hear from you okay one more judgment starting off with judgment strong energy here um this is like a, an awakening this is someone having some sort of revival uh, possibly wanting a second chance looking back at the past learning from their mistakes wise judgment here and we have the higher font Okay, Taurus energy. Why right, we're getting a lot of major arcanas, major shifts in energy here. Why is judgment here for Scorpio? Four of Swords. Again, I'm getting like um, hmm, like no communication or no action. Tell me more about judgment. But maybe there's a personal awakening, like someone's having a realization in their life. Possibly regarding commitment. Ooh, we got the Emperor Reverse, Aries energy. Uh, 
The Emperor Reverse, this is someone that feels powerless, um, like things are not in their control, um, maybe they are lacking resources, or they can't make something happen. Why is the Emperor Reverse? The Emperor Reverse. Wow, the Seven of Swords Reverse. So this is someone that possibly got caught jumping into something. Maybe they realized that what they thought they were passionate about or what they jumped into, maybe it was a bad idea, a mistake. Um, this is someone that could have gotten into a commitment of some sort and possibly um, they're realizing that there was a mistake there. Um, this could be you or your person. I'm also picking up, it's like someone wants to do something, but in order to do that, they would have to like, I don't know, it's like they would have to really be clever because right now they don't have the power to do what they want or what they uh, are motivated or passionate by. So this could be somebody that's attracted to you, for example, but maybe they're in a commitment and so, you know, they can't just show up, you know? You could be dealing with a Leo. I have the strength card right behind that. Um, I'm picking up a lot of ener different energies here. I feel like some of you, this is someone from the distant past. And then for others of you, I feel like this is someone that you know like at work, but it's, it has never gotten serious. It's almost like they are attracted to you and, and it's like you've stirred something within them, but I don't think you really know this. And I have the two of swords here, so it's like maybe there's just, there's something unexpected that you don't know. Because I have the moon here as well. Tell me about the moon. What's this moon about? For Scorpius here. Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the moon here? Disappointment, heartbreak, and then death. There you are. Showing up to your own reading. Changes, endings. I, I am picking up some of you, maybe this was a breakup from the past, or perhaps you're going through a separation right now, or a difficult change in your life, you or this person. Yeah, there's a page of pentacles. I feel like some of you, I don't think you know that this is coming in for you, because I think maybe you are distracted by something else happening in your life right now. Tell me more about death. Tell me more about death, please. The Hermit, Virgo Energy, more major arcanas that we keep getting here. Yeah, I feel like maybe some of you are recently single or are trying to figure out your next steps because you're going through something difficult. Maybe you are being a loner right now or just listening to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you here. And then while you're doing that, I feel like there's something going on behind the scenes here, like an opportunity that show up, shows up, someone wanting to ask you out. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Page of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Wow, this person's serious. A lot of Pentacles here. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Six of Swords reverse. For some of you, this is someone definitely returning. For others of you, I'm getting it's like someone cannot leave a situation due to money. Can I get one more, please, for the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Two of so two of Cups reverse. Sorry. So you know, interesting. I feel like um, maybe you're not the one going through a separation. I think they might be, or perhaps if this is you. Um, again, I feel like you're focused on money or stability and, and it's like you don't see something else arriving. Very interesting energy. I feel like I am reading for two different Scorpios. Some of you, this is someone new. that like you don't even know them, but this is on its way to you. And others of you, I feel like this is someone from the past. Or someone that you're not with right now. Maybe it was this uh, recent breakup between you, but I don't feel like you're together right now. Okay, let's get some ideas of what you're thinking of each other here. Oops. 
I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a physical deck that I've pre uh, designed. If you're curious, it is linked down below so you can check it out and get your own. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Scorpio and this other person. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. About Scorpio's energy, please. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Okay, we got breathe and meditation, healing, rest. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. So I don't feel like you're making moves right now. Can I get one more for Scorpio? Tell me more about Scorpio's energy. Looking inward. Yes, this is the Hermit card. Reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. So I feel like this is you right now. You're trying to figure out your next steps. You are being the hermit right here. And bottom of the deck, victory lap. I feel like you're focused on success, on being successful. So tell me about this other person's spirit. Tell me about this other person's energy. Now, Scorpio, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. It can be flipped. If it resonates more, feel free to flip it. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection? Unexpected event. See, that's the moon. Uh, tower energy here with unexpected event. It's like something shocking, like a revelation, um, an uh, upheaval, endings, unexpected shocking events of shaking things up. And I think this is related to a marriage. I have lasting promise at the bottom of the deck here. Com uh, commitment, longevity, features. So I think this is a, sh a sh tower regarding a commitment. Can I get one more, please, for this unexpected event? Tell me more about this unexpected event, please. Pure seduction. Lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. See what I'm saying? It's like they're attracted to you. And I have judgment call at the bottom of the deck. That's like that judgment card here. Decision, knowledge, logic. The judgment call is being made using logic and reason. The justice card. So it's like this person, yes, it started off with like an attraction. They were seduced or tempted. They desire you in some way. But I feel like that's leading them to some sort of decision. Let's clarify your energies and see. Try the Temperance card reverse. For Scorpio, where is Temperance reverse? This side of service energy. Two of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're going down a different path here. Maybe you've made a choice in your life. Um, yeah, this could be related to work. The Eight of Pentacles here. You're working on something. Seven of Wands reverse. I feel like, um, you know, if you're working on something, don't give up. Don't get distracted by the difficulty of what you're going through. Um, keep at it. I feel like this might have been something you resisted for a long time. And I think it's related to a... It's like maybe you had regrets over a choice, but you didn't want to make a different choice. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. Yeah, this is about moving on, moving forward, doing research. I'm seeing some like online searches. I'm seeing like online communication for some of you. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Five of Cups. Interesting. Some of you are wondering if your happiness is in the past. Some of you have, I feel like there's some of you that have had regrets over your past decisions because you neglected your own happiness. Can I get one more for the Nine of Cups? This is very specific energy. Yeah. Four of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. I feel like some of you even neglected opportunities. Um, and I feel like you, you held back. Some of you, I feel, it's almost like... Um, Tell me about this uh, Four of Pentacles. What's this Four of Pentacles about? 
with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and Temperance reverse, I feel like something has slowly come together for you. Yeah, tempers reverse. So I feel like, uh, again, thank you, Spirit. So basically, something has taken a long time to come together because I feel like you were hesitating, maybe being extra careful. Um, and so, you know, you're trying to work on restoring the balance in your life to think about your own happiness and stability, your next steps. And I feel like in doing that, um, it's just taking longer. I feel like some of you are still regretting the past and maybe the past m makes you hesitate even more. I feel like Spirit is saying to just kind of let that go. Um, I feel like while you're doing this, I f I'm picturing someone watching you work. Like someone watching you... Um, Oh, yeah, and there's a ton of wands reverse, by the way. So, yes, the Spirit is saying let that go. Let the burden go of the past. Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of conflict or difficulty, wherever, whatever this was. Let's look at your person. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Four of Swords reverse. Yep. Justice. Justice with justice. <laughs> I feel like this is someone that's anxious, restless, um, wanting to take action here. I feel like at first they were just thinking about it. And now it's like they actually want to do it. Tell me about, because I have the Four of Swords upright over here. Tell me about the Four of Swords reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. See, they're slow too. They're slow down too. That's why, you, I feel like that's why the Page of Pentacles is reversed. Because for some reason, I feel like this is from this person. Why is the Knight of Pente uh, Pentacles reversed? Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Ah, because you don't know. Because it's going to be unexpected. I feel also like they're having doubts possibly about their success. And so this is all connected. Tell me about justice. Nice justice here. And a wand reverse. Tell me about justice. I feel like you're marrying each other. Three of cups. Coming together, celebrating, but I feel it's more like a coming together. Um, some of you could be dealing with someone who's already um, have have someone else. Can I get one more for justice? Because if this is your person, I feel like they might have to leave someone. Eight of Swords reverse. This is breaking free of fear. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Tell me about this Three of Cups, please. Yeah. Can I get one more for the Three of Cups? Queen of Swords Reverse. I feel like there's somebody else. And I don't think that they're into that person. I feel like they're looking they're, they're they're looking for something else. Yeah, there's the eight of wands again. It's like they're they're motivated by something else. So what's this two of swords here? This is in the near future. Why is the two of swords here? By the way, if this is resonating for you, Scorpio, let me know down in the comments. Why is the two of swords here? Yeah. So someone might be undecided because there's there's doubt and worry here. Yeah, like is this gonna work out? Will they accept me? Will you know? Will they keep an open mind? Will they say yes to my offer? Knight of Cups. Someone, and I feel like it's because um, I don't know. Maybe you are guarded, or perhaps you don't see this coming, and this person knows it. Yeah, one more for this Two of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Uh, yeah, this is communication coming in or someone debating whether they should talk to you, communicate with you about this. Let me get some more information about this person and then we'll wrap this up. 
Tell me more about how this person is secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio spirit. Tell me what they're secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio. I'm using my secret moon oracle deck here. Huh. I love you. Okay, that's sweet. What are they thinking or feeling? I need more time. Okay, so that's the delays here. And I think that they need more time too because they're they're doubting. <laughs> they're doubting the success of this connection. Um, they're worried that you might reject them. Whether you know this person from your past or whether this is someone new, it's going to be different for um, for you because I feel like I'm reading for two groups. Um, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.